Hello there. It's day 263 of our chronological Bible reading. And so we have read still the book of Hosea. Quite a few chapters we've read today from chapter 8 all the way to chapter 14. Right? Okay, for those of you who would like to join our chronological Bible reading, just visit uh, uh, my YouTube channel and on a video like this one, just check the description box at the bottom like this. And then at the end of it, just look for show more here, right? Click on it. And then um, just scroll down a little. You'll see my social media accounts. So here, here is my Twitter, Truth Insight underscore. My Instagram, Truth dot Insight, and my Facebook at Truth Insight twenty twenty. On these social media accounts, you will see what book and what chapters to read for the day yes now let's share what we've learned Okay, um, from chapter 8, let's just scroll all the way to um, verse 13, okay, so this is verse 13, let's just Read, highlight as I read. The people love to offer sacrifices to me, being on the meat, but I do not accept their sacrifices. I will hold my people accountable for their sins, and I will punish them. They will return to Egypt. So as you can see here, offerings of any kind are useless if we do not repent and obey God. For us today, that includes tithe offerings. Yeah. So focus on what's, what's important. Now let's move on to... Um, the next chapter, chapter 9, then let's go down to um, verse here, verse 17, verse 17, right? My God will reject the people of Israel because they will not listen or obey. They will be wanderers, homeless among the nations. <clears throat> Again, what, what does it say? Because they will not listen or obey, so they will be punished, right? So for us today, it's important that we repent of our sins and obey God after repenting. Moving on to the next chapter. Chapter 10. Then let's scroll all the way to the specific verse. 
um, chapter 10, verse 9. Okay, verse 9. The Lord says, O Israel, ever since given only sin and more sin, you have made no progress whatsoever. Was it not right that the wicked men of Gibeah be were attacked? So, again, so, you have made no progress whatsoever, right? Only seen and more seen. So, this clearly emphasizes the importance that we must repent of our sins, right? Repent means choose to please God from now on, right? You're really sorry for your sins and then you're willing to be transformed, to change, right? To be a child of God. Then just quickly, let's scroll all the way to just one verse here. This one, verse 14, right? Now the terrors of war will rise among your people. All your fortifications will fall. When shall man destroy Beth our Beth? Even mothers and children were dashed to death there so don't, don't be surprised and, and don't you know some people ask right some people ask if god is good then why is he allowing uh, hundreds of children died here hundreds of children died there right you see the bible just read the bible and you'll see when there's wrath then Everyone will be affected, even children, right? We are not God. God is God. God is our master. We are his servants. So. so, next um, chapter, chapter 11. And let's scroll all the way to a particular verse here. Um, yeah. It depends. It's sweet. Oh, how can I give you up, Israel? How can I let you go? How can I destroy you like Adma or demolish you like Siboin? My heart is torn within me, and my compassion overflows. No, I will not unleash my fierce anger. I will not completely destroy Israel. For I am God and not a mere mortal. So just finish that. I am the Holy One living among you, and I will not come to destroy. For someday the people will follow me. I, the Lord, will roar like a lion. And when I roar, my people will return, trembling from the west. So... God wants us to turn to Him. That's, that's all He wants, right? He created us, humans. We are His children, so we should be acting as His children. We should choose to be children of God, not children of the devil. So, as you can see here, He says, For I am God, not a mere mortal. So, I will not come to destroy. He doesn't want to destroy. He only punishes because he's also just, right? He hates sin, so he will punish those who have 
sin. But the bottom line is, for someday the people will follow me. He wants this, the bottom line. For us to follow Him. To be children of God. So, we need to repent and ask for His forgiveness and choose to please God from now on. Yeah. So, next chapter. Chapter 12. Let's go to the specific verse. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Verse 7, right? But no, the people are like crafty merchants selling from these honest scales. They love to cheat. So, when we choose to obey God, we will follow what He wants, like love other people, right? So, if we love other people, then, if we're businessmen, we will not be selling from this honest scale. We will not cheat other people, right? And then if we just scroll down a little more. Um, so this real quick. This one, verse, verse 14. But the people of Israel have bitterly provoked the Lord, so their Lord will now sentence them to death in payment for their sins. Right. Some people, they always say, I'm a work in progress. So things like that. But, you know, um, the delaying obedience is actually disobedience so don't delay too much and don't wait until it's too late don't provoke provoke right don't provoke the lord because if we keep on uh, singing then it will be too late the sentence will be there Right. So next um, chapter, chapter thirteen. Let's scroll to the particular verse here. Um, this one, verse sixteen. The people of Samaria must bear the consequences of their guilt because they rebelled against their God. They will be killed in an invading by an invading army. Their little ones dashed to death against the ground, their pregnant women ripped open by swords again. Their little ones dashed to death, right? Pregnant women ripped open by the swords. So, all the people will be affected if many people will keep on sinning. That's why it's important um, for us Christians to spread God's word, right? Hoping that uh, the, those who are... Uh, Sinful, those who are deliberately obeying, disobeying God, will repent of their sins and start obeying God. Yeah. Because even little ones will suffer. Okay, moving on to the last chapter of the book of Hosea, chapter 14, this one. Let's scroll the verse here. This one. Uh, actually, the last verse of the book. 
verse 9. Let's read. Let those who are wise understand these things. Let those with discernment listen carefully. The paths of the Lord are true and right, and righteous people will live by walking in them. But those in paths sinners, but in those paths sinners stumble and fall. Now, let those who are wise understand these things. But how can they understand if they are not reading the Bible, right? So, we need to read the Bible so we can understand what God wants us to do with our lives here on earth. He is our creator. He created us for a purpose, right? So what is that purpose? It's in the Bible. And then, let those with discernment listen carefully. Listen to who? That's why, if nobody will share God's word, then listen to who, right? So it's important for us Christians to keep on sharing God's word. Well, by the way, before we end, let's just read this briefly. Verse 8, O Israel, stay away from idols. I am the one who answers your prayers and cares for you. I am like a tree that is always green. All your fruits will come from me. Stay away from idols. Right? Yeah. I just find it hard to believe that uh, some churches, I mentioned it yesterday, even during the pandemic, when uh, they are not supposed to be uh, gathering in large numbers, still some church churches encouraged uh, Celebrating, right? Celebrating for what? Celebrating the feast of, I cannot believe this, feast of what? Feast of a replica of a burned idol. So it's clearly an idol. It's, God is everywhere. Imagine these people would like to go there and touch the idol, whereas God is everywhere. They can pray in their own homes. Just kneel and humble humble themselves. It's not the touch of the idols. Anyway. That's all for today. See you again next time.